Well, alrighty, guys. We're gonna have a great hike today. I'm back with the old gang, uh, Randy, Neil, Papa, and Jimmy Staffy. We're on the backside of Pogue Creek. Gonna go up and we'll try to find some arches up on top here. We turned at uh, right before we get to the Alvin York. Uh, parking lot for the house and turned and went up Delk. Uh, turns into a gravel road then we start up the hill right here and go and see what we can find. When you drive up Delk you'll be looking through and look for a very faint road up the hill. Only room for one parking lot or one car space so area is uh, <coughs> gated off so not a real heavily used area but to keep in mind parking is very very limited Hopefully we'll find several arches, uh, all with the York name associated with it. Hills covered in wildflowers are starting to uh, die out, these particular ones, trillium type flowers. Very pretty though. Pretty much walk uphill the entire time when you leave your car. About to spill. Just taking it nice and slow, enjoying the thousands and thousands of uh, wildflowers along this trail. Got up to a flat near the top and saw this. Uh, row of rocks could be a outline of a foundation more rocks over there right beside the road one thing I have found out hiking a lot up here is flat land was very very rare so find a flat there's usually something on it and this is the one we're looking for this is uh, York's Palace yeah, it's very nice Wow bit of a barrier to get to if you know the folks at the riding camp you can come in that way but we parked on Delk near Paul Mall and walked up kind of reminds you of the one at uh, Pickett you can walk across this one and it's got one little a little runner on the inside York's Palace Arch. <clears throat> 
another big rock house just to the other side of uh, York. Wow, it goes way back. Hope he's away somewhere. Sorry about that, I almost fell. Alrighty, the other double arch. Got palace and then right beside it, you see a faint path is a double. Start to say that is a strange print, but that's where I just about fell a while ago. You can come in four different directions on this thing. It's really two pronged on both ends. Very neat. Looking down on the double arch, you got two ways to get across. Uh, if you're really crazy, you take that one. And if you're not so crazy, you take this one. So it's a double arch and sort of a natural bridge as well. Just looking down where I was just at a while ago. Very, very neat. York's Palace and York's Double Arch. Now we uh, drove to Pall Mall. We parked at the uh, Visitor Center. And drove up Delk Road. Turns to gravel. You'll see a road up to the right. Got a green gate on it. Probably room for one car. Walked in. I know some folks have gotten permission to walk in from the uh, where the horse trails are. It's really close, but uh, this is all part of Pogue, and I think it needs to be developed further. These are great, great little uh, landforms. I'll wait on my buddies, and we'll head back down. Talk to you in a few minutes. Found my buddies and we're back to the double arch and showing them. Once you get to the palace, it's pretty easy to get to this one. Well, if you're a slaven and you were to watch this video, I've got a slaven 1949 card on top of it. So, y'all's kin, folks. Well, I can see the road. We're almost back to Jimmy's Jeep, so a couple hundred yards and we'll be there. Uh, two amazing arches, York Palace and the Double Arch, just uh, well worth bushwhacking up there to see it. Again, we came in, parked at uh, the Visitor Center at Alvin York's, went down Delk Road all the way around and got to be really careful looking for a pull off and a gate, but uh, well worth it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you later.
Thank you.